a hi in this video i'm gonna show you how to use open ai text completion api using python as you see in this ppt this ppt depicts my demo here i'm gonna walk you through what are all the prerequisites that a developer has to do to consume open ai you know, open ai text completion api with using python and also how you can get the required open ai api keys from your open ai account and then use it in a, a normal text completion api okay so that's the main aim of uh, this video all right so basically um here is the you know here is my actually over you so if i can explain you the what is the thing that you know this video contents is say you know you are building an application and that application needs to have an intelligence that open ai provides you are or you know you want to use the open ai exposed you know apis for example say text completion apis okay if you want to use that how you can you know how you can replicate that in your code and then use it in a api right so here i'm going to help you to understand you know how you can um, use it in your you know first how you can use it at the normal code and understand it okay then you can use it for application right all right so here let's say a developer a, an api developer is is writing a python code and how you he can invoke the open ai text completion api and then get the required response okay all right so that's the main aim of uh, this this video if i take you to this my visual studio code so this is my visual studio code i have already written an example application called qa application right that is a question and answer application which you can you know achieve with using open ai completion api right so how you know how that api response and what are all the components of that api right for example say what is the its body contents what are the parameter you need to pass how you need to get the open you know, open ai keys api keys and all so that is something you know i'm going to walk you through this one right so before i walk you through this code and 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 show you a demo i will first take you to the open ai portal so if you go to the google or just say any kind of browser and say open ai right so you're going to go to this one so this is the you know openai.com page right so here you will have multiple options you see you know what are all the you know the uh, open ai features are being provided yeah and here is the option called api so okay so in the api you have the overview pricing examples documents terms policies and all okay so if you need to use the open ai api keys you know you need to have an account the account can be created by clicking on the you know the uh, sign in page so there is a login option here click on that it will be taking you to the uh, you know account page or if you already have an account you can log in from here right so if you don't have an account so you can click on the sign up right and provide your email address get that email address verified you know validated or, or verified and then you can you can start logging in i have already created an account um uh, belongs to my you know my email address right and then yeah so then then i'm going to show you that and you know, how we can how we can you know um how we can use that account first login and then you know i'm going to i'm going to walk you through the complete portal here right and then we can then i will then i will go on to show you how we can retrieve the uh, api keys and use it in our code yeah so for now let me log in with with, with using my secret super secret password though so let me log in first uh, with using my account so i'm just logging in so here is my login so you now i as i said and i have already created an account so i'm using that uh, account and logged in now here you go so this is how you know the beta openai.com overview page looks like right so here in, this is a very vast okay basically it's, it's a huge one but in this one i'm just taking now you know how you can use a text completion api at your application so before you go to the application you first need to know, you know how does that api works and how does it responds okay and that's where my video is, is is helping you right so if you click on the examples you see there is an example called q a okay so in the q a you can directly in the sense you can practice or you can do whatever you want to uh, by going into this open playground yeah that is an open ai playground yeah so here you know the open ai itself provides a playground or the ui based playground where you can you know you can you can try to you know you know try to explore this api yeah and get the response this is at the ui level so for example say you want to integrate this in your application how do you do so this is where my video is now going to help you right so there is an option here down the line so what you see right that is api request so how you can invoke the api request with using python and if you have the other other code that you are interested you want to explore so you can still go on like say node.js yeah or python so basically python is one of the better ones so basically 
I'm going to walk you through this one, how you can do this. Yeah. So this is the code, you know, I'm using it here, bit bit modified here and there. Right. And then, you know, how you can use it, uh, you know, how you can invoke this API from your laptop. Okay. So right now it is being invoked in the sense the plug playground is nothing but, you know, it's a, it's an application hosted on the open AI itself. And from there, you know, you are trying to understand it. Yeah. That is different. But when you are building an intelligent application, then you must know, you know how you can invoke that API from your system. Right. All right. So far now, let's see how we can achieve the text completion uh, API. Right. So for that case, we need a, a token. Right. That is a we need an API token. So how do you get that API token? Right. So there is a, a profile here. Click on that profile. And there is a you know there is a button called view my api keys right so this is this is actually you know you it provides you know it, it completely provides you know what is what is the thing that you're happening on your account level right for now i have created one api key which i have deleted i don't know i'm going to create a new api so something same you can follow from your side right so click on create an api so and you will be exposed with the uh, very huge uh, gui that is a um, uh, you know global unique id will be uh, uh, served to you so you can copy that and you know just just take it in a notepad plus plus say you know i have this as a notepad plus plus and just copy paste it okay so we're going to use it later right and just click on okay so basically it will expose the api only one time you need to copy for the first time and then later you don't need to you know you don't need to um, you know basically it will not show you yeah so so that is the update i wanted to give you right so just now you know we have i have refreshed it right so what did I what did I do is I am I'm I'm doing the you know I just deleted the old API keys and right now it's see you know it has um, only single one okay maybe it maybe looks like it has deleted yeah no so just now we have created right so this is today's date this is the date where I'm creating the video so basically you know we have created this API key and we're gonna use it at the code yeah so this is the first prerequisite that we have passed right now let me go to the second prerequisite okay so say you want to run it from the uh, IDE like Visual Studio Code right and i am in a windows system so this is my windows system basically so um you know before that you know you need to you need to have a two prerequisite one is you know you should have your system installed with the python right so that's the reason you see you know if you can um, evaluate whether your system is installed with the python or not so by running python hyphen hyphen version right it should respond the uh, python been installed okay so once the python is installed i believe that you also have the pip installed pip is nothing but in a kind of uh, you know software uh, which helps you to install the python modules right so python is a kind of a you know programming language or the runner right so in that uh, programming um, language it has you know uh, the community has provides multiple packages or multiple libraries or multiple modules whatever you know the convenient you can think it about okay so so those module has to be installed in the python before you use it in the code right so here you know we have to use open ai module right which is given from the open ai itself right so we need to install that in your system for that case you need to do pip install yeah and then put open ai yeah so then you know what it happens is basically it tries to install the open ai module in your system then only you can you can do a import in your code like i have already done right so basically you can do the pip install open ai yeah so what it does is i have since i have already installed so it just says you know it's already uh, installed or basically uh, and you know basically it says you know um, since you know since since i have logged in with using um, you know this is a normal user access so it's it's failing for some reason yeah but you can use the uh, elevated permissions and just log in yeah and then you should be able to install the open ai one yeah so it says currently it says you know failed to execute try to use something determine you know that is a delete me logs you can say since this is already installed it's reasoning you know it is colliding and it is not able to install okay that is that is for your information so if you are following this video just just do whatever i have you know suggested here it should be it should be installed in your system basically right say you have installed successfully and then comes the then comes the code okay so then comes the how you can write it in a code and invoke the open ai completion you know or text completion apis right all right so i will going to walk you through this code and we see some couple of demos in the sense i'm going to show you how does this response you know how does this api response and out of the response what is the you know exact value we are looking right and that is the kind of you know help that i'm going to demo in this video so here we gonna import two modules one is os uh, that is a native python module and then open ai module which we just now installed and that is needed much needed for you know um invoking the open ai text completion apis 
so here you know as i said you know we need a uh, open ai key that, that is open um, uh, open ai api key so that key will be uh, will be kept here that is your open ai key uh, that is open ai api key so the key which we created and i i copied in the notepad plus plus so i'm going to copy that right so you can use it you know just store it here right anyway so i'm going to delete this uh, api key soon after this video you don't need to try it again from your side right so and then once you have the module that is open ai module so in that one you're going to assign a api key and that api key can be you know retrieved from my you know um os environmental variable that is open api key or you just know instead of instead of keeping it on an environmental level you can just directly keep it here but best practice is you know you always store that keys in a environment right at your runtime yeah and that's the reason i'm just doing this one then we go to the another you know, heart of the demo that is you know that is this is the piece of code which actually doing a very big magic right so it is actually doing you know think about how you know how big work this you know this small piece of code is doing yeah so here what we're doing is you know basically you know we are invoking a text completion api so here as i as i showed you earlier i'm focusing on a question and answer okay for example say you know if i can you know if i can help you to understand what is text completion api so as you see here the text completion api works on on in a, on a particular method called as a, there is a prompt right so when you invoke a open ai text completion api you will you know you will give some prompt in the prompt you're going to provide some data and that data will be consumed by the open ai completion endpoint and you know these data will be fed to that particular you know ai module and the module gets trained okay and then it will respond it will try to respond the uh, answers or you know try to complete the text okay basically that is what the name is given in sense in the sense whatever you feed it you know whatever the text you are feeding it to the module based on that text you know it will try to complete the next text and next possible it is going to predict it saying like you know, yes i need to give the answer just like this okay so there are there are multiple use cases which comes in this category that is a text completion it could be question and answer you are asking the question the answer is being given which is completes the text basically right or you are asking some suggestion okay say and then it is responding some suggestion so that it becomes a completion of text right so this open ai you know you know this open ai completion module is is been you know built in a such a way that it understands the text that we are passing at the prompt okay so as i was telling prompt oftenly so prompt is nothing but a kind of a parameter while invoking this api and in that api you're going to feed some data and that data will be you know analyzed and used by the uh, open you know open ai uh, text completion module and the based on these texts you know it will try to do a, another, do a kind of a logic from the back end and based on this text you know it will try, it will give an answer which which is exactly what you are looking you know as a text completion out of this one so that that kind of high highly level intelligence you know this api is meant for right so since i was focusing so this you know this api you know right now i'm focusing on just a just a q1 a session okay i'm going to show you that so here there are the couple of parameters that you need to pass okay so you know after the completion dot create so whatever you are passing in the braces is nothing but the parameters that is needed to invoke this uh, you know uh, open ai compl text completion api the first one is this is very important so you can see this one uh, even from the from the ui as well so which is if you feel that that is you know very convenient you can go here for example say right so this is the playground for q a right so it's you if you see here so we have chosen q a and you know whatever the prompt so this is basically whatever you see this box the text box is a prompt so what is doing you know it's already been pre-written in the sense you are you are feeding some text to the um, you know text completion api it's it's you know it's using this data trying to learn something and and then you know based on this learning it is going to complete your next next text okay right and uh, that's the reason we have selected q and a and in the module if you see you know we are using text hyphen davinci hyphen 003 which is a gpt3 uh, module okay which is the latest version of gpt3 module yeah and the information you can read it here so okay so text davinci 003 is the most capable module in the gpt3 series can perform any task other than you know other than the gp you know the any task the other gpt3 module can you know can and often with a high quality uh, longer output better instruction following yeah so then yeah, so basically this is the latest gpt3 version which we are selecting okay and then here is the value so if you if i select if i keep my cursor here 
it tells you know what is this temperature parameter is all about right so basically you see here controls randomness okay so basically what temperature does you know is basically it's a kind of a parameter uh, which is which scales from 0 to 1 right and and this value will be fed to the module while processing your request and that value will help in you know controlling the randomness okay so basically lowering the results in in less random completionness okay as the temperature approaches to zero the model will become deterministic in the sense and repetitive right uh, so basically you know um, here it says okay as the if i can select here again if i read it correctly is the as the temperature approaches to the zero the model will become deterministic and repetitive right so you know uh, basically you know if you keep it zero in the sense it's it's try to be uh, to be very accurate right and if you increase it if you increase it to the to the high value that is to one which is nothing but you know it, it tries to give a very diverse diverse answer answers okay the model will be um, you know as a temperature opposite to zero the model will become deterministic and repetitive right so when you keep it zero in the sense probability is 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 tagged as a zero so it will try to do uh, give a you know very uh, deterministic answer and repetitive answers right so in the sense it will try to give only one answers okay if you're keeping one you know if you're keeping one in the sense it try to give a very diverse answers right so hope you are understood so if i if i can repeat again if you keep the temperature value zero it will give only one answer and that is a deterministic answer or the final answer only one final answers if you keep the temperature value to one in the sense it will try to give a different varieties of answers in the sense answers close to the you know close to the, the questions being asked here that is that is what the scale is all about and it, this is a very very important parameter while invoking the api so let me keep it zero because i want very deterministic answers or accurate answers right the you know the less the you know the less the temperature is more the accurate is okay something like that i can generalize the formula and the maximum length okay so if i can see the maximum length in the sense the maximum number of tokens generate and the request can uh, can use up to the you know 20 48 something so basically this is you know um saying like you know the maximum tokens in the sense what is the token is something like a very deep you know deep concept of of you know text completion api so when you are you're feeding some data into this into this you know the prompt right so from the back end what this model does is you know it will categorize these texts into a tokens and that tokens are being could be you know could be a combination of two or three letters or multiple you know or or the or say you know um uh, three to four letters collected you know categorized together as one token something like this so for example say if i can if i can select this sentence so in this sentence it will try to make a token say you know i as a one token i am as a one token based on the you know based on its own nature in the sense it could it could make this as a one token then it will try to make this you know the the other letters that you know that the other letters say in highly it can choose only the um h i g h as one token so something like that okay it is trying to frame the token so basically that is what it means you know how many tokens that you it is allowed right and the request can so if you see here the request can set up to that 20 48 tokens right yeah and this is what the maximum length is telling all about then you have a stop sequence okay so up to four sequences where the api will be stop generating for the tokens the returned text will not contain the stop sequence okay that is what this uh, stop sequence is yeah the rest all are very uh, very deep concept and this will be used for wide variety of use cases okay so you could have a different different use cases at your applications and these are the parameters which going to help you to learn more about this one you can just select it one and these are the you know frequency penalties presence penalties best of yeah best of one yeah? okay and then you have the inject text okay so something like that so the all these options okay text to append after the user's input yeah that is answer yeah since you know since uh, uh, you know as i said you know we i'm using this api right this q and a api so inject in the sense the answer will that the the answer from the model will be injected you know injected at this character that is a you know text to append after the user's input right so basically you know you ask some question and it has to uh, it has to send a response where the prefix will be given a colon that is what it means and then uh, you know inject starts text in the sense though in the sense the uh, the question okay the question that you can ask to the uh to the to the model you know it will start with the q colon yeah and then show the probability is been off yeah all right so all these parameters that you saw here in this ui is been converted into the here in this format that is in the code format right so you see in the module we are having the prompt 
then we having the temperature maximum token top p frequency and the stop right so all these been collectively been given as an input to the api right so while you are invoking this api right and you are feeding this metadata right so that's all so basically with using this one you are hitting the endpoint of the open AI text completion api and getting the response which is needed right okay now now let's go and and see you know how does this response for multiple use cases for now what i'm going to do is you know i'm going to say you know i'm just asking a very physics question okay that is what is an atom yeah that is a physics you know physics concept basically what i'm going to do is i'm just uh, as you as i walked in through so what i do is you know i'm going to invoke this um, I'm just going to invoke this um, a code from here in the Visual Studio code. So there is a button called start. If I click on this one, I'm going to open this one. So let's see what is it responding. So here you go, right? It has given a response saying like, you know, atom is a smallest unit of matter that retains its chemical properties and atom are made up from the proton, neutron and electrons, right? And so basically this is a, this is a very you know very generic uh, questions on the physics and and it has responded correctly right so how i'm getting this accurate answer is if i can show you that i'm retrieving it from the response okay so if you see i'm doing it uh, quite of a quite of a kind of a you know you know the program it tricks here so but if i if you need to see the raw data that has been retrieved by this or, or the response uh, or the raw response from this api you can still see that uh, just just by you know just by printing the uh, response something like this yeah so i'm going to print both that is a you know the 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 raw response plus filtered response yeah so if i click on this one again uh, we are running the code again so basically here you go right so the response is in the form of a json right and whatever i selected is the response so it contains the choices in this one you know the finish is stop index is zero the text okay so whatever you see the value of key called text is something which we want right and then it contains the created id model right and it contains the object like text completion object right and it has the uh, usage okay so all these configurations it will respond okay but at our application right so let's say you are building a flask application with using python right so in that case you and then your application needs at some text completion you know the intelligence right so in that case you can just use it in this format right and that's what you know that is what uh, you know this video is dedicated for you know to, to help you to understand how you can invoke the open ai completion you know open ai text completion api with using simple code that is python right and then later once you understand this one then you can use it in the in the application i'm going to create a one more video on this you know how you, how this open ai you know modules can be used or apis can be used in an application and and make the application look very intelligent cool and all yeah all right so far now i have uh, walked you through um uh, through this scenario so now, now before i wind up this session i'm gonna show you a few more questions okay say say you know you want to know you want to know who is elon musk okay so for example say i just say who is elon musk yeah sorry if i'm writing wrong uh, let us say 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 elon musk right who is who is elon musk yeah so he's uh, uh he's actually um a business tycoon so okay let me see um i know let me see what it uh, gives a response for us Right, so i'll just say um yeah so i'm just hitting it right here you go right so i have got a response saying like you know elon musk is an entrepreneur innovator best known for founding you know spacex tesla solar city right he has uh, so many companies but yes and he's also the ceo of the both tesla spacex and he's uh, is a major investor in the several other technology companies musk has been involved in the several philanthropic uh, uh, efforts including the musk foundation which focuses on the renewable energy science and the engineering education okay so after that he has also bought twitter right so that is not coming here why it is not coming because this open ai text completion module you know is been is been fed with the data belongs to you know belongs to the you know early of 2021 right and and then the twitter has been acquired recently right and that's the reason you know this data is not there and and that's the reason you know your api are the open api open ai api is not responding that data okay so let's say at the production at the production use cases maybe the open ai team will you know feed the required data and make it very relevant to the current uh, you know the current time as well right all right so with that note you know i have shown you the things to be shown in this video finally i can't request please do subscribe my channel that is that is really going to encourage me and uh, you know stay tuned i'm going to create a few more videos on open ai soon thank you thank you very much and see you in the next video